what is up everybody and welcome to today's new video where in this one we are covering how to actually trade the 930 indices open now i use this a lot almost every day at least when i'm expecting a good expansion day as those are the best i like to trade and we can use this in part as a judas swing in the opposing direction of where we want price to go so i will teach you how to navigate this today and then how to find an entry after the 930 judas swing so first of all, I want to state that this is an indices based concept almost. So the 930 open, we look for price to trade in the opposing direction of our anticipated draw on liquidity. Now the logic behind the Judas swing, I will show and how we actually navigate it afterwards to find an entry towards our draw on liquidity. So as you can see here, we're on the NASDAQ chart from this week. And I want to take you into this bit of price section here where we had a sweep of sell side liquidity which i'll mark up now we had a sweep of sell side liquidity with this candle and then traded back into an imbalance inside here so i want to take you into this bit of price action and i will dive into the 930 open specifically to show you how to navigate it as you can see here we're on the five minute chart and this grey area up here is the imbalance I outlined earlier. And this liquidity down here marked up is the equal lows on the daily chart that we swept. Now, I want to take your eyes to this price section here. So we had an almost accumulation phase where we were slowly running up, not much to do inside here. However, I want, to, I want you to note this bit of dynamic price section here before we reach up. Now, you may look at this and think there was news involved. However, this is just the 930 open, which I want to teach you about today. Now, the 930 open is when indices opens in New York on the trading floor. So this is when we can expect a volatility injection of either manipulation or distribution. So it will either be manipulation, the opposing direction of where we want price to go, or it will distribute price in our anticipated direction. Now, the conditions for that happening for it to either be manipulation or distribution is as follows. If we have manipulation before 9.30 at a key time, such as 8.30, for example, if we have manipulation then, and we have news at that time, which causes the manipulation, we can actually predict 9.30 to give us the distribution without the manipulation in the first place. However, in this case, you can see that we actually manipulated at 9.30. So I want to draw your attention to here where we open up and then price trades lower as we open at 9.30. 9.35 minute candle prints lower past these sell stops here and then we continue lower clearing out this sell side liquidity pool here. Now bearing in mind we will on a higher time frame we want to draw up into that daily fair value gap. Now 9.30 has now given us the Judas swing and now we are waiting for a change in the state of delivery upwards so that we can follow the trend towards that daily inefficiency. After sweeping sell side liquidity down here, you can see we get a very volatile move upwards. So notice the volatility injection that happens at 9.30 is used as manipulation in this case. Manipulation occurs, triggering sell stops down here and allowing retail to go short. Any breakout traders are going short. We trade higher above this swing high as we have a high next to it and a high next to it here. So a high either side causes our swing high. We break the swing high and then trade back into this PD array here, it back into the breaker block inside here. So we are trading inside this breaker block and you can buy whilst we're inside the breaker. However, I would look to buy and I actually did take a trade. If I can find the execution screenshot, I'll throw it up now. If not, then I will tell you exactly how and where I took the trade. So I noticed we had the manipulation and then broke above, which caused our breaker because we have a low, a high, a lower low, and then a higher high. We trade into the breaker and then give another leg forward. Now, once we give this leg higher, I am looking for a pullback to a PD array inside this leg here because we have not yet cleared out the original consolidation up here. Now, consolidations are always a nice target for us to use. And of course, our drawing liquidity is up here, but we do not have to target the full drawing liquidity to get a good trade. Now, inside this price action, I can find one down close candle 
which is used as support on the order block. Now we wait for price to trade into the body of the down close candle as order block theory should support price holding it here. Price does get supported, we can target just above the highs and I would put my stop loss about 50% of that breaker level. That gives us a nice two, one to 2.8. And as you can see, that is how we frame a trade around the 930 manipulation and then a leg higher or a leg lower in our anticipated direction. We are patient and we wait for a valid entry to fall. Now in this bit of price action here, I want to give you another example of how we can frame our trading around this specific time. This 9.30 open allows us to be away from the charts doing something else all day, maybe doing a side project or out with your friends, whatever. And then at 9.30 open New York, we come onto the charts and actually look to frame our trade. So this bit of price action on the one hour chart here, you can see we have a new daily open gap which should be traded into at some point. So this is our draw on liquidity. Now, as we come into 9.30, which I'll mark up here, as we come into 9.30, we of course want to see a run on buy stops in this case, as we want price to trade lower. So we want to see a run on buy stops and then a break lower, giving us our entry. We head down into the one minute chart here and head over to the 9.30 open. You can see this gray box is outlined as our new day opening gap, which I want to see price trade into. Now 9.30 actually opens up, gives us a small run in sell stops, and then trades higher. We trade up into a price level, a higher time frame price level. I should have pointed this out earlier, but between these highs over here and this one, you can see that this high gets taken out by NQ at 9.30. So we have a high taken out, and we look at ES over here, the same high which was formed at the same time doesn't get taken out. So that run on the high gives us our SMT at the highs at 9.30. So 9.30 causes this run up into the high and then of course ES doesn't take the high. So 9.30 caused the manipulation here and then we look to frame a trade on this. So we get a down close candle here which closes below this series of up close candles we then see that this bullish candle which is an order block is supported and we head lower now my entry was somewhere around this bit here maybe on this gap or in this leg of price action when we traded back up into this gap i can't quite remember however i entered off of this and i targeted the lower down here of this original consolidation now you will often see the 930 or price action previous to 930 accumulate positions in the form of a consolidation 930 give us our manipulation and then our leg lower and we can oftentimes target the lows or the highs of that consolidation prior to 930 in this case you can see this occur well you can see that we can put our stop loss above this high or this high and of course you wouldn't hold on to this trade fully I mean, in theory, you could, of course, but I would partial out as we reach into these objectives here. As we reach into these discount objectives, this fair value gap, for example, this down close candle, I would be partialing out at all of these objectives until we reach the lows of the original consolidation. Now, this is just one way we can use the 930 as manipulation, give us a run higher, and then the 930 stops, which were formed prior to 930 in the hour or so prior can actually be used as a target when we get that actual break lower given as an entry. We can always target the original consolidation wherever orders were paired. Now, before we end the video, I wanted to give this final example of how we can use the 930 as distribution as well as manipulation. So here in this case, you can see we have a one minute fair value gap after a huge run higher. So we had this consolidation, a leg higher, a retracement, an expansion, and now we are waiting for 9.30 and trading inside a one minute fair value gap. Now I want to point out something here. We have a dig into the gap, a leg higher, price struggles to get above the high and doesn't really stay above it. We dig deeper into the fair value gap, and then once more we dig into the fair value gap. 9.30 opens up and digs once more, 
into a discount of the fair value gap and then we get a big leg higher and notice where we close all the other times we poked higher and we didn't close above the last candle however this time 930 opens up sweep sell stops once more get a leg higher and we close above all these highs now this may look like a three drive pattern and then we actually take the range here we take this range you can see that we trade into a discount again into the order block and then get an expansion higher and continue on higher as you can see we expand completely and then trade into the ote again reclaim the order block before expanding into the closing price so if you did find this video useful please do leave a like and subscribe as it really helps boost the algorithm and helps me reach more people helps me achieve my goals of helping as many people as possible with trading and with simplifying or at least helping to simplify ICT concepts so yeah like the video if you did enjoy subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.